Hello guys, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Yao Asim Pisichere and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Acida House Commodities. Now, this season of maize farming, I want to try a variety called Lick. Now, Lick is a maize variety that is from uh, South Africa. Okay, as per my research, I haven't used it before. As per my research, okay, you are likely to make 15, 20, at least 15 to 20 bucks. That's what, that's what I've been told. If anybody has used Lick and have any other experience, let us know. You know, we, we, that's what we are here for. Okay. Now this Lick is what I'm going to do, what I'm going to use in my farm this season. Okay. I really want to use some of the made in Ghana varieties. I really do. Okay. But I can't find them. If you know of a made in Ghana maize variety out there, a hybrid maize variety, because I, from, from, for some time now, I've been telling people that if you want maize, if you want to plant maize, go for hybrid. Yes, because, you know, whether you go for hybrid or not, you are going to buy the same fertilizer. You are going to buy the same, you're going to spend the same amount of money on labor and many other things. So why will you, you know, go for a cheap side, you know, variety while you are still incurring constant costs in terms of fertilizer, weed control, in terms of labor. And at the end of the day, you will not get the yield that you want. So for some time now, the advice I've been giving to people who call me, you know, for this kind of discussion is that they should go for hybrid, no matter the cost of it. Go for hybrid, tried and tested, those that have been talked about. I don't want to mention names. Do your own research or listen to us and add your own research to it. Now, this is this is how lick looks like. <laughs> lick, it, it, you know, it's like this, lick agriculture. Okay, this is how it looks like. All right, inside, you know, it has been treated. It's a hybrid meat and it's white. It's a white meat. I don't know if you can see it from here. It's a white meat, but it's just looking like this. Okay. Now, like I said, this is from South Africa. I have an issue with our local brands, our local maize varieties. Okay. I want to talk about them. I also want to talk about the local maize varieties that we have in this country of Ghana. So if you know anybody in the Ministry of Agri, if you know anybody that is supposed to take care of these things, tell them that Ashko want to talk about, Ashko want to sell, you know, these brands, these local brands to, you know, Ghanaians to farm. We need them, okay? Because maize farming, we've been talking about it as a business, as an agribusiness that is, you know, that, that can, you can really re rely on us, you know, a full-time business. But we keep importing, we keep importing. Now, when the people need it, and it is not there, they will find it wherever it is. They need hybrid maize and they cannot find it in Ghana, wherever it is, they will go and look for it because we are importing brands from US, we are importing brands from Brazil, okay? And I believe that there are equally good brands in this country of Ghana. Yes, I believe there are, some of them are there, okay? Let us get to know them. There are institutions in Ghana that are supposed to work to do or to go into the research and you know bring out findings, create these hybrid varieties that we need. Okay, I believe that some of them have been done. It's passing around, and I want to hear and I want to get hold of them and talk about them, test them and talk about them. One of the reasons why I'm going to use I'm, I'm, I'm doing this this um, lake this lake variety. It's not only because um, it's not only because it's a hybrid. Yes, I'm doing it because it's a hybrid. I haven't used hybrid before. A lot of people have used hybrid. I haven't used hybrid before. And one other thing is that this is less expensive if you compare it to the other ones. I don't know how the yield is if you compare it to other ones, but this is less expensive if you compare it. It is less than 500 CDs for this. For this 5 kg, okay, and I learned two of it, two of the 5 kg is for one acre, okay, so it's like that. 
one of the reasons, like I said, apart from the fact that it is hybrid, it's also that it's less expensive. Okay. But let me also add that this is the first time I'm, I'm using it. Whatever the result is, we'll be here to talk about it. Whatever the results it gives, it gives us, we'll be here to talk about it. This is more like an experiment. On this channel, we put in the risk, put in money, put in effort to, you know, do this, this kind of things. Okay. This kind of experiments. If it is good, you say it is good and then you go get it. All right. If you have any information about it too, you can get in touch with us and let's and inform us. Let's all learn about it. All right. But my main focus is that for the brands in Ghana, the made in, made in Ghana brands, made varieties, get in touch with us. Get in touch with Asco TV. We want to talk about it. We want to have interviews with you, you know, and talk about it and let people, Ghanaians, Ghanaians in the diaspora, hear of it, you know, use those products for the general good, you know, of the country of Ghana and the food security of the country and Africa as well. All right. So thank you very much. We'll be going for, for planting and anything in the process, any stage of the process, you will get, we will give you this information. Any stage of the maze is growing this, you know, is saying any stage that from planting, fertilizer application to harvest, we are going to bring you, you know, the videos, content, and the information thereof. Okay. So best believe and continue to support this channel, continue to watch, share our videos, continue, you know, to get interactive. And we'll continue to bring you this information. Once again, my name is Yao Sipi Setra, and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Asira House Commodities. Bye bye for now.